Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to do something that I have been thinking about for, I know, months, if not a year, and that is selfies. And I do, just like you probably do, feel ridiculous taking selfies, but it is part of especially what I do, and it's so much a part of our lives you know and when i say selfies i can mean a good picture that you can put on your youtube icon or a good picture that you could put on your you know any social media or even linkedin or whatever like that it's just gotten to the point where we don't need a professional picture if you know how to take a good one of yourself now i have given my mom a few lessons but I need to give her some more because when she will send me pictures of like um, like the funniest ones are when she's trying on glasses different glass frames and you know just different things and even out she's pretty good at outfit of the day in the in the mirror that's one thing she's pretty good about so I was just thinking that might be something good for me to share some of my tips as an almost 50 year old woman things that we can do to not look ridiculous, look as good as we can. I just do not believe that you should look worse than you do in real life. Like there are some people that think, oh well, I do have under eye circles, I do have wrinkles, and they just post it. And I'm like, no, you don't look like that in real life because a photo is so much different than art than you are in real life when you are moving your face and you're having expressions like of course you know when i smile i have wrinkles but when you're talking to me that's not all you see the whole time you know what i mean so don't feel guilty trying to get your best selfie so i'm going to go over some different things i have not even written them down i wrote down a few upstairs but i think i pretty much know what I want to say here. The first and most important thing, of course, you know, is light. And I have spent a fortune on lights. I've got, I don't know how many ring lights. I don't know how many box lights. I've got the LED lights, but you know what I like the best are these three windows I have here in my dining room. And as much as I hate all of my mess that I have out here all the time, it's the best place for me to film it's the best place for me to take pictures and the best place for me to show you things because it's real natural light and what the natural light does is it captures better color and it it's i don't know how to i don't i'm not a photographer and i'm not a professional so i don't know how to say this but what i would say is it's just all around you know what i mean it's not casting down so that these show it's not it's just so everywhere so it's going to give you the truest picture of your real self so that would be my first tip is to go around your house and if you don't have any good places in your home go in the car your car is always going to be a good spot but even in your car you have to find like I know the best places that I go for the best lighting I know if I back out of my driveway the lighting's not good I know that if I drive out of my driveway the lighting is good because the lighting is coming from this way during the morning when I usually leave and we've got trees right there at the end of the driveway so I can kind of get in that dappled light you don't want just stark light because usually that will wash you out what you want is and a lot of people say go outside and then go underneath like a tree and that way you're still getting that intense sunlight but you're not you know the main thing with me is if i go out in the intense sunlight i'm going to squint and my whole expression is going to be different but even that is just it's too harsh so that is my first tip. When you are in the direct light, like sometimes I have such good light in the front now that we took out all those trees. I love the sunlight, you know, as far as showing the outfit, but I can, you know, I'm usually trying to show my makeup too. So I can't do it because my eyes are squinting. So sometimes in those photos, like if I want to show you my lip combo and my outfit, 
I will either just get that in the photo or I will put on sunglasses. So that is tip number two. Sunglasses will just help any, any selfie. Get yourself a pair of sunglasses that you feel like you look good in and you're not going to want to use these for, you know, professional selfies. But if you just want to take one to show someone your lip combo, or if you just want a cool selfie to put on your YouTube or your Instagram with your sunglasses, that is always, that's always a safe bet with me. And I happen to love sunglasses, and that's something that I'm passionate about. And I love to show you guys different sunglasses, so it's fun for me. And I know that I do a lot of car selfies but I feel like that's just kind of like my thing. And that way you can look at the different pairs of sunglasses. You can look at my different lip combos. You can look at my different cheek colors and you can look at my different hairstyles. I feel like you can see a lot just in that car selfie. But you have to think about what you are doing with it. Like, and think about your personality, what you do for a living, what you think is fun. If you're someone who's very active and you love to run and you love to walk outdoors and everything, then that is gonna be your best selfie, is to be outside, to maybe have on your, you know, favorite running outfit. And, you know, kinda, you want to, in your photos of yourself, you kinda want to portray who you are. Okay, now, smiling. That is a thing that sometimes I get criticized for is not smiling in every photo. Well, a lot of that is because I'm trying to show you my complete lip combo. And when I smile, I feel like you can see, I don't know, I feel like you can't see the body of the whole lip combo as much. Like I want you to be able to see the lip liner, the lip color, and the gloss. So most of the time, you know, I am going to, here, let's, I'm going to take a selfie right now just to show you. So first thing you do is you put it on photos. Then you hit, this is an iPhone 11 Pro, and it has like the best camera I think that you can get now. Maybe some other ones have a better camera, but I need an iPhone because I have a Mac and it just all works in together. Okay, now do the camera where it is facing yourself. Okay, now hold your phone, and I'll get into this a little bit more, but hold it and find your best, I'm going to get into that in a minute, but find your best position, and like if I go like this, you just can't, like a lot of it is hidden because you see my teeth, but if I go like this and I just smize, like smile with my eyes, or just, I try to generally give a happy look like that and then you can see my com my lip combo and you know I'm still have I try to have a pleasant look on my face now a lot of times I think I do and then I go back and look and I look mean and I look grouchy and that's not it it's just I don't know it just happened to be what I thought looked good at the moment and think about what you're trying to show off okay now everyone has a side that they think looks better than the other and I think I've heard that most people like their left side I for some reason do not like my left side as much I don't really know why I I, I thought about well, is it because I'm right-handed but that can't be it because I think right-handed people are dominant but anyway not dominant but most I've got to be careful so careful with what I say anyway so my favorite side is it's not even i don't even have to turn my face it's just from the right so think about that too think about what side mine might be my nose maybe i like my nose this is a picture from the left i don't even know how to do it <laughs> it's gonna look funny anyway so find your favorite side Okay, this tip is so simple, but it is like, it, it never leaves my head when I think about telling somebody how to take a good selfie. Someone told me, go around your house and find a good room with light. Oh my goodness, uh, Chanel is chasing a fly. So find a good room with good light and just take your camera out like this and just, I mean, spin around in circles. 
and let's go in my bathroom real quick and hopefully I can record on this. Okay, so here we are. We're walking through my bedroom, walking into my bathroom. Okay, let me shut this door here. I don't have any lights on. I do have the light on like over the shower. Hold on. Okay, so I have, you know, the old style garden tub and then I have this old style like block window. That is a good, I'm, I'm looking at myself instead of you. That is something good to have. Now in the afternoon, the sun is back here and this whole bathroom is just lit up and it is just so bright. It's almost too bright. But this is the room that I practiced in the most when that person told me that. So let me show you the difference. Okay, so right now, see how it changed? But watch when I do this. See the like dark circles under my eyes? Okay, see when I do this, see how it's worse? See how I, when I bring it down, it's a little bit better. Think about this, your jawline, think about your neck. And then if I want to do a like outfit of the day, I would just tilt it up and do like that and click the camera. If I wanted to get even more, I would turn my camera upside down and maybe do like this. So now I'm gonna, sorry, I don't mean to make anybody sick here, but okay, so I would say like that would be my best angle. Now, then I start thinking, do I want to show the whole side of my face? Then, you know, check your hair. Do you want to show some of your arm? You know, a lot of times I don't want to show my boobs because I don't want to get anybody getting, you know, upset. So I'll just pull my hair over like that. And so you can see, see how there's darkness in the corner of my eyes. So I'm going to keep moving the camera until, okay. And watch how, see how this, the sun is causing that crease right there in my nose to be so prominent. So let's spin this way. Ooh, there's my outfit of the day. <laughs> and see, okay, now how you see how you can see all of those wrinkles around my eyes. See how the light changes my face. And now we're back to, let's see if I were going to take a picture here, I would think about what's in the background. I like my light. I would just probably do this picture right here. So that is just one little tip is go where you know you have some good light. And like my bedroom has pretty good light too because I have windows over my bed. So I could take a selfie here because it's i have a little bit of shadow but i mean i'm just trying to be realistic here i'm not trying to be perfect and so let's go outside and i have had to really get over my neighbors um seeing me um record and take selfies and everything because they all know by now i do youtube at first i was so embarrassed okay so see now all the shadows let me show you guys this beautiful bougainvillea here. Isn't she gorgeous? She was so unhappy on the other side of the house, but she's happy here. Okay, so this is one of my favorite places out here. But even here, see how I, I can't do that? I would do more like this, where the sun is, I guess, see here's the sun right here. So I could do that and get like a little bit of that. But what I usually do is go under this tree. Okay, see that's bad. But I would just keep turning until I found a good spot or, ooh, see how bad that was? Or, yep, right here is where I would probably turn because I don't mind like a little bit. I mean, I'm being realistic, you know? And so I would probably take one right here. And if I wanted my whole outfit, I would just hold my arm out and do that. And then let's see, 
always think about what's in the background because people will pick your background just apart. Like I've seen funny pictures where people took selfies and they had like a dirty litter box in the back or something like that. So always pay attention to what's in your background because people really pay attention to that. And also if you have mirrored sunglasses on, pay attention to that too. Let's go on my back porch. See, cause there's no sun in the back. Okay, here's a good example. Here's my kitchen area. This is my new light. Isn't it pretty? I love it so much. It makes me so happy. And I'm looking for, these are my old, sorry, I'm getting rid of that lamp. These are my old, you know, they went with my old fixture and I want to replace them, but I can't find anything that goes with this. So if any of you know of anything, let me know. Okay, but here in the kitchen is also a pretty good place, but it's very particular. It has to be just the right angle. And hey, Nene. And then let's go off the back porch. We're supposed to get a deck. I'll tell you guys. I don't, I mean, I know people are talking about the economy and stuff, but it must be okay some places because we cannot get anybody to do any work hardly here because they're so busy. Okay, here is my beautiful, these are the most rewarding flowers to me. But see, I have pretty decent light out here, but they still, it's still shadowy. But sometimes I don't mind it because it's just so pretty with the flowers and stuff in the background. Okay, so now I think I've taken you around to all of my places. What I usually do, my favorite um, selfie place, it's just the front door. So, and I have that big wreath on my door, so it kind of filters the sun. And of course, I have a covered porch. So you'll see me a lot of times, like right now, that's not a good one. So I'll have to turn and find the best spot. So I'll probably do it like right there. So I'm back from our outdoor adventure. And um, so some other things for you to think about are what you have on you know that you feel better in some things than other if you are self-conscious because of your um, chest or your neck or your arms then just make sure you have something on that you feel good in because how you feel is going to kind of come out in that picture matter of fact a lot of my selfies where i'm really smiling big i was you know i try to really be you know, honest and really be authentic in my photos. And if I'm smiling big, I felt it because a fake smile is just not good on me. Like, it's just cheesy. Like, that's why you guys will not see many posed thumbnails because I am just not good at it. I would rather just look for a screenshot and just pick one out because I don't look good in posed photos, in my opinion. So if you see me smiling, it's because I felt it. I felt like happy and I felt good. And that is the feeling I wanted to portray. Another thing people really kind of get into is their page and making their page look cohesive. I'm not really good at that because I'm more of an of the moment type person. And, but that's something that you can think about. Like if you want your whole Instagram page to look alike, then think about wearing those colors the most and you know you'll see the red the white you know stuff like that and then um let's see i can't i'm trying to think of anything else i can think about oh okay um this like if if you're nervous and you want to like i'm never going to be the person that does this or um i don't know i'm just not that you know i'm just not that person if you see me do that i'm being silly or maybe i've changed and i'm into that but you know, but I am someone who sits in the car and kind of does like this. So I might just pick up the camera, you know, when I'm in the car, in the drive through and take a picture like that because that's my natural thing. I try to just be as much me as I can be. So I hope those tips helped you some. The big mistakes I see most of all, most of all, are the wrong lighting, not good lighting. So just look around your house 
and find good lighting. Go outside in the yard. Um, be careful for the background though. If you want to put your sunglasses on, you know, to start with. Okay, then the other bad, bad thing that I see, there's actually three. So it's the wrong lighting. Then I see like a wrong pose, like a wrong tilt of the head. And that just, you know, shows all of this or shows a bad, you know, just pay attention to how you're tilting your head. And three, pay attention to kind of like the expression on your face. Like, you know what I mean? Like just smile a little bit or if you want to smile big or, you know, just pay attention to what kind of message you want to send with that picture. That's Chanel. Sometimes she just walks around meowing. What's wrong, Chanel? Oh my goodness. She's got a monkey tail. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you guys, I hope this helped you some. I guess you've probably already seen my outfit of the day. And let me know if you have any questions below. Let me know if you like this type of video. And I will do many more. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.